Hey guys, it is Saturday. Feeling good. Just edited my video. You know, the use drinking some lemon water. And oh my god. I was combining the clips. Basically, do you ever... Well, I don't know. I don't know if this is like just vlogger things or ever. Because when you vlog, it's like I'm filming what I'm thinking about and want to like discuss. And I rewatch it later. And although, yeah, you, if you don't film it, it's like you can think about it later. But when you actually watch it and it's recorded, it's just, I feel like it's different because you're actually seeing it. And I'm just like, why do I talk about such stupid things? <laughs> I'm like, this is so dumb. It's like the purpose of these vlogs is just kind of like, yeah, this is like my life. I don't know. I just feel kind of like, what am I doing? Like not with my life, but just like with what I am making into content and I feel like I do talk about things sometimes where I rewatch it and I'm like this is great like I, I I say proud of this loosely because it's not like I'm presenting the ideas in a really cool way or making a speech or anything but just the ideas that I'm talking about in this format like filming on my phone like this is good like I this is something I want to put out there like a thought even though it's not the best quality presented in the best quality sometimes it's like yeah this is good. I feel like I'm contributing. But sometimes it's just like, okay, we get it. Like, you're drinking coffee and lemon water. Like, shut up, bitch. Like, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> if you have any, like, tips, but at the same time, it's like, that's my daily life. And it's kind of the purpose of these vlogs. It's like, if you were to click on this video, like, you'd, I feel like you'd expect that. Like, you wouldn't expect, like, a speech. <clears throat> or, like, I don't know. Let me know what you think as like as a creator or as a viewer. Um, my throat. But sometimes I watch my, my vlogs, I'll be editing them and I'm just like, stop, like no one cares. <laughs> Cause I just talk about stupid issues. I'm like, I should be talking about something more interesting or like like it's not even like oh i'm not interesting but it's just like this is what i'm talking about like i have an audience and i'm talking about like like how many times can i say like oh yeah so like try to drink less coffee like went to the gym it's like i get appalled by myself like i'm just like no one cares um anyway what was i even gonna say yeah so there's that <laughs> oh this isn't even related to videos but do you ever okay so like i feel like I don't know if I've talked about this before, but sometimes I'm just like, like I do my little morning routine, I go to the gym, I come back and I film or I edit or I do something. And then I have like a few, like a good chunk of time in the afternoon. And so, like, if I'm gonna hang out with someone or I have plans, like that's when I like do that in that chunk of time usually. Um, but sometimes I'll just like stay at home and like chill and like, like, I don't know. Recently, I've been more productive in the sense of, like, like doing something stimulating, like reading or doing my Duolingo or something. But I don't know. It's, like, at what point do you have to push yourself? Because I'm, like, I could, like, go out and take a walk or I could go to a museum or, like, I don't even have to be hanging out with someone, but I could be, like, doing something interesting and adding to my life. Not even being productive, but just enriching my life. But then it's like, okay, I don't want to spend money every day doing something. And it's like, okay, I guess some museums are free or like taking a walk is like free. But you know, it's not like I, w I don't want to like go to a restaurant every day or like go pay to like do something every day. So, and it's like if I feel content just at home, like chilling even if I'm like doing my little Duolingo or like, like not even like working, you know, like not editing a video, like this is after that. If I'm like doing du Duolingo, reading a book, sometimes, yeah, it's like, I'm just like watching YouTube videos or something. But for the most part, overall, it's like, I'm happy doing this. I, I still feel like I'm kind of like, you know, yeah, like enriching my life because I'm learning language or like reading or even like cleaning, like something. So adding to my life in some way, but it's like at what point do you have to like be like I'm gonna go do this. so I guess like what's the balance because I don't know I feel like it's it's not like I stay home every day or like I never do anything <clears throat> but there are some days where I'm like 
should I feel like I should be going out to do something? I could be doing anything right now. And like, this is what I'm choosing to do. I just like stay in my apartment. So it's like, am I wasting my life? But is it a waste of my life if I'm happy? You know what I mean? So if any of you have ever experienced this, like you're just kind of at home and you're like, should I be doing something? Like, should I feel like I have to be? Because there's a difference between that and then like actually kind of being almost like bored or agitated. And then it's like, okay, you just need to like force yourself to leave. But if you're just like kind of like chill and you're like, I don't like there's nowhere else I can really think of that I'd rather be or like no one I want to like hit up or like is it bad that I'm just like here so there's that and I feel like if you were to ask like Osho or a monk they would say yeah just chill in the present like you need like it's almost like you're trying to trying to distract yourself from your head and I think Osho talks about that like people have all these habits just to kind of distract themselves like even things like chewing gum or like playing cards or like just trying to like pass pass time because you're like you don't just want to be alone with your thoughts i thought that was very interesting it's almost like a subconscious thing but yeah it's like are you really fulfilled if you can't just like be with yourself but then at what point do you have to like go out and like try something new like I guess it's like almost like getting out of your comfort zone that that's it I nailed it comfort zone um so let me know your thoughts I don't want to make I don't want to do trivial things just to make it feel like I'm doing something because you know like fake errands or like you just like feel like you need to be so busy in order to have a fulfilling or productive life it's like isn't it okay like if I've, if I've already done everything I need to do is it okay to just like kind of like chill I don't know it's like, what if there's something out there that's even, I enjoy even more than just kind of like doing a little duo link. <laughs> and it's not even that big of an issue. Like it's not an everyday thing or anything because obviously you guys, I mean, most of these vlogs are like from just here, but it's not like I never go out and do anything, but sometimes I'm just like, should I be getting out of my comfort zone right now? Or is it okay that I'm just reading a book on the couch? So let me know your thoughts. I just was thinking about that this morning. Like, anyway, <laughs> anyway let me know what y'all think and also don't pick at your skin because this will have it i don't know why this is so red almost like a scab Ooh. can i just say the khalifa farms toasted coconut almond milk is crack like it's thick but not too thick it tastes like coconut ice cream but like not sweet i don't know how they do it y'all but it's in my oatmeal right now and it is changing my life. I had always see it and I was like, that sounds like gross. I don't know. Like I just didn't like coconut for so long. And I think it's just like coconut curries that trigger me because it all started when I vomited. Can I put this here? When I vomited some coconut curry after being on a plane for, how long is that? It was a long, it was a long ass flight. So it was like a Thai curry, which is like, is sad because loved it before, but then I just like vomited so much of it and like, you know, it triggers me. But I guess sweet coconut things don't trigger me, which I'm learning. So yeah, bomb. I have my oats, so I have that. I really prefer frozen berries in my oatmeal because it just melts and it makes it almost like syrupy. You know, I am grateful for my just blueberries. Very humbled. They're really inexpensive at Ralph's right now, y'all. So I'd recommend you go like less than two dollars per thing. And usually they're so much. Like sometimes they can get up to seven dollars. Like something I've been practicing recently. I think it's so good. I started doing it because I was watching <laughs> I wish y'all could see my YouTube recommended. It's like the most random thing. It's like a bunch of Trisha Paytas mukbangs. And then like, well, right now it's a lot of like things about babies, <laughs> like labor vlog. And like another girl, like, does she really look like him? Like, oh my God. I can't wait to be a mom vlogger in the future. Knock on wood. One of these videos, one of these, Tony Robbins videos came up in my recommended one day and it was like his morning routine or something and he was with this kid who was like there to interview him. I think he was with Business Insider but he basically said that he doesn't meditate first thing in the morning but he kind of has this like little routine that he does and he said one of the things that he does every morning is he 
thinks of something that made him really grateful or happy and he tries to visualize that moment and go back to that moment and feel what he felt in that moment and it just you feel so grateful and you know it goes out to the rest of your day so i know we always hear like oh like be grateful and like practice gratitude or i know especially on holidays like thanksgiving it's like we should be thankful year round and it's like what does that really mean so i think it literally i've been realizing it really helps that the active practice of being like okay i am gonna be grateful and i don't know it's kind of like like i feel like i understand religion more and i feel like pretty much all religions like have the same idea of like getting back to love and like you can refer to like god or like for me it's more like the universe you know but it's all kind of that thing like thanking just like life it could be for you maybe it's like thanking god thanking the universe thanking just like just like being grateful but i think practicing that and being like wow like i really go through everything and even if it's like I had an annoying day or um, just like a hard day or I didn't feel my best. It's still like there's so many things that went right that I'm just taking for granted. Like knock on wood. But it's like even if I had a frustrating day and I talked to my mom I'm on the phone about it and I was like upset or like I'm just like, uh, it's like, okay, I'm so grateful that my mom is here for me to talk to her. Like even that in itself, like, oh my God, knock on wood. Especially things like that. Um, or like, I'm so glad that I had my bed. I'm so grateful for this, for that. Like, you don't have to be grateful just when really out of the ordinary things happen. Like, it's literally about taking a moment to just like be grateful for all the things you have that you don't even really think about because it's like, that. that's not guaranteed tomorrow. Knock on wood. So recently I've been really trying to literally just like take a moment and just think about it and practice that feeling of gratitude and you can kind of like, you can create it in your body and it totally transforms like how you feel in that moment. So I'm just saying it works. So that's something I've been trying recently, like actively, like, yeah, like be grateful, but then to actually take a moment and like, make like a mental list of everything you're grateful for and to feel like really try to feel the feeling of gratitude you're just like my life is good you know i feel blessed so i'd recommend you guys try that like try it right now just like take a moment be like i'm grateful for this and that and i'm so glad that this worked out or that this is going well or that this person's in my life or that you know just little things like we take so much for granted and why do i look like i'm like crying my eyes are like watery Guys, it's not that deep. I mean, like, kind of, but, like, I'm not crying. Ugh. Oh, put, like, eye drops in. You see this? Like, it looks like I'm like, oh. No. Anyway, just wanted to share. Um, and yeah. So, um, get you some toasted coconut almond milk. Get you some gratitude. And we're about to have a great week, you know?